Hi guys, uh, sorry for the delay uh, between the videos there. Um, uh, excuses, life got in the way, and I uh, didn't have the time to uh, put together, you know, the um, the monthly or weekly kind of videos to YouTube. Um, the good news is, the car has uh, not stopped. I have uh, continued to be working on it, um, and I've got all the footage. So the next part of this video is going to be catching up. Um, I think the last video went out uh, August, September. It was nice and warm. <laughs> it's now pretty cold. Uh, but luckily, there's a heat in the garage, so um, work's going to continue through winter. Uh, the next, the rest of this video is going to be showing you what I did to finish the engine off. The engine is now done. Um, it's not here right now. It's with uh, the uh, the motor engineer. He's finishing off the uh, hydraulic slave cylinder conversion, which I will be updating you on as well. Um, right now, the Capri, you can tell there's no windscreen, the shell's completely bare. Um, you can't see, but below me there is nothing. The front end's off the car, which includes the balance, the headlight bulbs, everything's chopped out. Um, but the rest of this video is going to be showing you finishing off the V8, and then I'm going to follow it up with uh, how much work I've done with the bodywork in terms of chopping things out, and um, perhaps a trip to the Sona Blaster, which is where this car's destined. Um, to be next. So in the next couple of weeks she's off to the Soda Blasters. They are going to strip the car bare, back to bare metal uh, and zip primer up and going to give me a pretty reliable shell to finish chopping bits out and finish uh, welding new bits on. So we're getting to the engine now, the, you know, the, uh, the curve where stuff comes off the car and it levels out and then it starts to go back on again. So uh, yeah, bear with me. The videos are going to be sporadic and stuff because you know, you know, this is a, a hobby of mine, and um, there's going to be uh, fits and starts here and there. But uh, yeah, keep watching. I'm going to keep the video recording, and uh, hopefully there'll be some good stuff for you guys to watch. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so I finally got round to uh, the fun part of rebuilding the engine. Um, you see here, it's basically a completely bare block um, with the first bearing uh, popped in place. So the first thing I'm going to do is fit these uh, conrod bearings, which are over here. Um, they're all the same apart from the centre bearing, which uh, is like this, and that slides into the slightly recessed side of the middle uh, bearing there. So. First thing I'm going to do is, like, it's been fully cleaned, this is all nice and nice and clean. Uh, I'm going to pop these in each of the bottom sides with a dab of some um, uh, Clevite, I think it's pronounced, uh, assembly um, lube. All in here, you can see in here the cam's already in. Um, it's a Viper Hurricane camshaft, so that's already in and greased up, so that's good. And uh, yeah. so, a um, <coughs> bit of a gap uh, in the videos here. Um, I have, in fact, put the entire bottom end together. The next stage is to add the um, the washers and the nuts uh, from ARP, and then we're going to start the uh, talking down sequence. Okay, seeing as I'm using uh, ARP studs, the torque sequence for these heads is slightly different. Um, a normal uh, stretch bolt, you would uh, tighten it in the uh, 
the correct order and then you would let it settle and then you turn it 90 degrees let it settle and then a further 90 degrees that will stretch the bolts out uh, because I'm using ARP studs the max torque is 80 foot pounds um, so what I'm doing is I'm following the original sequence here I've tightened them and rather than doing the default thing which is obviously tightening them in this sequence to the max torque and then doing the 90 degree stretches um, I'm going to do it at uh, 20 foot pound 50 foot pound and then 80 foot pound Alright, so the heads are on, uh, the push rods are in, um, really simple, so see all the uh, lifters in there, sitting happy, uh, a bit of a lube on the end of there, um, and the next stage is to get my lifter assembly, and Place it straight on here. 